Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video. Today's topic is going to be focused on discussing the six underlying factors or conditions that contribute to blocked fallopian tubes. jump into today's video really quick I want to introduce myself especially if this is your first time ever visiting my channel or watching one of my videos my name is Kat welcome to my channel I primarily upload videos here on this channel that pertain to women's health anti-aging and lifestyle if that is something that you're into I encourage you to continue watching this video and consider subscribing to this channel I upload videos here on a weekly basis basis and I would love to have you as part of my community. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's topic. So blood fallopian tubes are a common underlying issue or factor that can contribute to infertility for many women. The cause of blocked fallopian tubes can be due to a variety of reasons or a variety of different conditions. But for the most part, scarring and damage to the reproductive organs is the primary cause. Also something that makes block fallopian tubes or the issue of block fallopian tubes as it contributes and relates to infertility, a frustrating issue, is that there are no outward signs or symptoms that could let you know that you have an issue with block fallopian tubes. It is only through going through a proper fertility checkup and having specific tests done where block fallopian tubes can be properly diagnosed and that you will know that you have an issue with block fallopian tubes. When it comes to underlying conditions that cause issues with block fallopian tubes, there are six conditions that can contribute or lead to block fallopian tubes becoming an issue for you. The first condition that we're going to talk about is pelvic inflammatory disease. Pelvic inflammatory disease is when you have a sexually transmitted disease or infection that goes untreated for a period of time. This happens, it spreads to the reproductive organs and can cause pain and inflammation to present itself. Pelvic inflammatory disease contributes to block fallopian tubes due to the fact that it causes scarring and adhesions to present itself on the ovaries as well as the fallopian tubes, which impairs the body to properly be able to fertilize an egg or contribute to conception. Having a past ectopic pregnancy can also increase your risk of having blocked fallopian tubes. An ectopic pregnancy is basically when an embryo is fertilized in an implant outside of the uterus, typically within the fallopian tube. Long-term effects of a prior ectopic pregnancy are due to the fact that there is scarring adhesion and damage to the fallopian tube, which can decrease your fertility. The third underlying condition that can contribute to a block fallopian tubes are fibroids. And fibroids are, simply put, non-cancerous growths or tumors that develop within the uterus. Depending on the location and the type of fibroid, they can cause changes to occur within the uterus which can potentially lead to blocking the fallopian tube. And this can impair the fertilization and conception process. Common symptoms associated with fibroids are prolonged periods, low back pain, as well as spotting in between periods. The fourth underlying condition that can contribute to fallopian tube blockages is endometriosis. Now, endometriosis is a condition in which there are endometrial tissue that grows outside of the uterus and can implant itself on the ovaries, the fallopian tubes, and basically a different organs within the pelvic cavity. This displaced endometrial tissue can contribute to scarring and adhesions develop, which can impair the proper function of the ovaries as well as contributing to blockages in the fallopian tube. The fifth underlying condition that can contribute to fallopian tube blockages is going to be a history of past abdominal surgery. Having a history in which you have had prior abdominal or uterine surgery can increase the likelihood or the risk 
that you have developed scar tissue or adhesions which will contribute to blocking the fallopian tube or impairing the ability of the fallopian tube's function and purpose when it comes to the fertilization process which can inhibit and, pro and prevent conception. Finally, the sixth and final condition that can contribute to block fallopian tubes is having a history of sexually transmitted diseases or sexually transmitted infections. So having recurrent bouts of sexually transmitted infections can greatly compromise your fertility. This is due to the potential damage that these diseases or infections have on your reproductive organs and the fact that they can cause scarring and adhesions and lead to blockages in the fallopian tubes and impair the function of reproductive organs and impair the function of your fallopian tubes. So as mentioned beforehand, block fallopian tubes typically do not cause any outward signs or symptoms to appear, which could alert you to the fact that block fallopian tubes are an issue for you. This is why it is super important if you are struggling with infertility and you are struggling to conceive that you seek out a fertility specialist and that you work with them so that way they can identify the issue and get to the root cause of what is causing your infertility. So as a general guideline, it is stated that if you are 35 and younger and you have been trying to actively conceive for a, a period of 12 months or a year and you are unsuccessful, that you should seek out a fertility specialist or seek the help of your doctor to identify what is going on. If you are 35 years old and older and you have been trying actively to conceive for a period of six months you and you have been unsuccessful, you should then work with a fertility specialist or talk with your doctor to see about different tests that you can run so that way you can find out if there's an underlying cause or an issue that is causing your infertility. Working with a fertility specialist is going to be your best bet because not only are they going to be looking for fallopian tube blockages and they're going to be doing extensive tests on both you and your partner to identify what is actually causing your infertility, but they're also going to be able to create a treatment plan that focuses on helping you to overcome these obstacles and overcome these challenges so that you can conceive whether that is naturally or whether that is through fertility treatments. So that is all for this video. I hope that you found this informative and helpful. If you did, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. I would appreciate it so much. Also, before you leave, make sure that you are subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you do not miss any of the videos that I upload here in this channel. And until next time, here is to define aging and redefining health. Bye.